I don't think I got him, but I'm gonna leave. before. Uh, whatever. in the wrong direction. My first attempt to reach the Americas was ineffectual. I knew I would need sustenance for the long journey, so I sought passage on a crowded slave ship that was captained by an arrogant and vulgar slave runner. I avoided his company during the day, and each night I would sneak below decks and draw blood from the wretches chained up in the hold. After less than a week at sea, we were forced to return to port because the poor slaver had murdered half his crew for insubordination. I happily parted company as soon as we docked. Not before I'd finished my work among his cargo. We sailed away with his boat, still full of slaves. But he was no longer their master. Local legend says the slaver's body was found floating in the harbor the next morning, so full of holes and emptied of blood that even the sharks had been unable to detect it. Revenge! Revenge for what? There. 
and I was gonna walk up here? Nah. No! Side questing does take a lot of time, though. Should mention that sooner. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's far. Came out of nowhere, actually. Where did I end up anyway? Oh, not too far away. You get off the side of town. drunk people. Okay, okay. Somewhere up there. I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way. Alright, 
Where are you? stuff. Forever, able to see. Where are you? Alright. This way.
fire. Fire! citizens like that because they're normal. Where am I here? Okay, that could be legitimate. Just let me go get that blood container. It's in the alleyway, isn't it? Yep. this evening, so I decided to forego self altogether. I knocked at the door of the first house I came to, and as soon as they allowed me inside, I ravaged them without hesitation. The family was large, both in stature and in number. I consumed the mother, the cook, the gardener, and had just finished the last of the seven children when the front door burst open. The doorway was filled by a massive man in white clothing that was stained all over with blood. His large, meaty hands were also tinted red, and the right one held a large cleaver. Well, the look of shock on his face was matched by the surprise smile on my own. I had apparently chosen the home of the town's butcher. He screamed in anger before the house to my bite. But for a moment... I knew he had felt the same thing I had. A surprising sense of... kinship. Man, what are you guys getting revenge for? Get off my roof. Okay. I'm having fun doing that actually. <laughs> Just slightly. Seek the truth below. There it is, the last one. It took me a whole hour to find I them all. I have been called many things. A monster, a demon, an abomination. Men condemn my feelings as the worst kind of sin, but their judgments are naive and short-sighted. I have watched generations of men rise and fall, their bodies return to dust and their names quickly forgotten. All their energies wasted on trivialities. Each time I drink, I give a fleeting, meaningless human the chance to contribute to an eternal purpose. The opportunity to be valued by God. 